Allergic Care Arts and IBI Healthcare Institute. And today I was inspired to speak about something that I have not been talking about for quite some time now because I mostly walked away from the field of general surgery for various reasons and I am mostly doing cosmetic surgery nowadays. However, before my cosmetic surgery fellowship and my switch into the world of cosmetic surgery, I was a general surgeon and I did a lot of reflux surgery among other things. In my practice, we continue to do reflux surgery by other surgeons. All of our uh, general surgeons are trained in general surgery, laparoscopic, bariatric, and reflux surgery. All of that is part of the same field. Reflux as a heartburn. Heartburn that is very common. 20% of population have history of heartburn. And in a lot of people, it's severe enough to need medications. Prior to my switch, I used to do a lot of heartburn surgery. We use some of the most advanced techniques available and procedures for that surgery. And the reason I'm talking about it is just because somebody was in the office talking about family member and how nobody ever offered surgical solution to a problem. So when we have heartburn, acid reflux problem, that's again very common that's when acid from the stomach where acid's supposed to live starts to come up into your esophagus which is your swallowing pipe in some severe cases it comes up all the way to the throat and actually causes laryngopharyngeal reflux so actually not just heartburn and burns right here actually goes all the way up here the most common way you see people trying to treat it is with medication medication that treats that brings down the acid is really not meant to truly fix mechanical problem that is reflux reflux happens when the valve that's supposed to keep acid inside the stomach is weak okay loose valve normally if you see a leaky valve you would want to tighten up the valve right so if we're talking about pipes like in your kitchen if the valve is leaking and the water is coming out of the valve, you wouldn't be trying to put chemicals down that pipe. You would be trying to do something, patch it up, tighten it up to make sure there's no leakage going on. So it's a similar concept. When we have a leaky valve, valve that's not strong enough to keep acid inside the stomach and acid actually comes up into the esophagus, even though taking medicine sounds like a good idea because, hey, I took medicine, I don't have reflux anymore. The problem is you still have reflux. You just don't feel it anymore. So effectively, effectively what you did, you hid the problem from yourself. You're no longer bothered by it. In your mind, you don't have the problem. However, you do have the problem. You're just not taking care of it. And that's one of the reasons omeprazole and similar medications, PPIs, uh, proton pump inhibitor class of medications, are coming with the warning says that they do increase risk of cancer. It's not because medication caused the cancer to go up. No, it's because the medication caused you not to feel pain, not to feel the burn, not to feel the reflux. And you continue to take the medication, continue to hide the problem, and therefore you continue to ignore the problem underneath. And that way the damage that's being done to your esophagus from the acid and from all of the things in the stomach that are not supposed to be in your esophagus, that can turn and lead to cancer as one of the problems. That's just one issue. So if you have chronic heartburn, chronic reflux that you have to take medication for, talk to a doctor who actually fixes the reflux, not a doctor who treats it with medicine. I'm talking about surgical doctors that treat reflux. It doesn't mean you're gonna need surgery, but you need a full evaluation with full, full acid probe, endoscopy potentially, and potentially a way to fix it. We have surgical and procedural ways to fix heartburn. It doesn't always mean being cut off open. We can fix reflux going through the mouth without any incisions. One of the procedures is called transoral incisionless fund application. That's one of my favorites that I used to do several times a week when I used to do reflux. And it really helps to minimize the amount of medication need and nanny 90% of my patients got off all of the medications altogether, never needed them again, 
except for occasional, you know, like anybody else, once the blue moon, we have a little discomfort, we can take it. If you have symptoms of heartburn, reflux, LPR, GERD, symptoms like obviously when you eat, you're feeling that pressure, pain, right? That discomfort that we associate with heartburn. Other symptoms that of, often, to me, sound like reflux, but people don't realize they are reflux. Clearing of the throat. You're speaking, you're going to see friends, you're going to church, you teaching. <clears throat> you're starting to clear your throat often as you speak. Post-nasal drip, constant post-nasal drip. Some people even have symptoms of losing their voice. Some people feel like they're under the water all the time. A lot of those symptoms could be a sign of reflux. So it's not always here because once acid comes here and all of this gets inflamed, your symptoms change. Sleep apnea. So an uh, inability to maintain your airway while you're sleeping. You get sleep evaluation by lung doctors, usually ONT doctors. There are several doctors that have those sleep labs. If you have severe sleep apnea, reflux could be the problem and can make it better. Adult onset asthma, reflux could be the problem. So get evaluated again by the doctors who actually physically, surgically treat the problem. We don't wanna operate on anybody. If you don't need surgery, you're not gonna get surgery. But if you have a continuous reflux problem that continues requiring you to take medicine for it, you don't wanna take that medicine for the rest of your life. The risks are too high. It literally shortens your lifespan, increases risk of dementia, increases risk of osteoporosis, increased risk of esophageal cancer, and many other symptoms associated with medication at long-term use. If you have any questions, you can check us out on IBI Healthcare Institute. We have uh, IBI Healthcare YouTube channel and ibihealthcare.com website where there is a link for reflux, where you can read all about different procedures and of course can get evaluated by one of our very experienced surgeons. Thank you.